I'm like, Come Hi on. guys, I am Oliver, History Tube here, and to kick off our channel, we'll be looking into who will win the ME 163 Comet or the HE 162 Salamander. First up, I'll be defending the Comet while my friend Colin Hello. will be defending the Salamander. First, they are both jet, fi jet fighters. Manufactured by the Germans and incredibly fast, the Comet was very useful. The purpose of the 163 Comet was a short range, fast climbing fighter to shoot down bombers and fighters flying high above Germany. The top allowed speed was 622 miles per hour, any higher, and it was considered a very extremely dangerous operation. The fuel was so vo volatile that attempting to land without using all of your fuel was very dangerous. If you got hints once in the engine, it would blow up. It was incredibly fast and nimble and had two MK-108 machine guns in the wing roots, which were 30 calibers. It could use jet power for only eight minutes before having to glide back to the ground. But what it lacked up in endurance, it made up for in climbing rates and speed. Its climbing rate was 16,000 feet per second, or per minute, which was incredibly high. The plane was considered an incredible feat of engineering for its time. It was forever looked upon as the first jet. It was very, man it was not very maneuverable because of its high speed. Hello, I'm Colin, and I will be defending the Salamander. It was better than most other Nazi jets and was considered a brilliant piece of engineering. It was called the People's Fighter because it, was, because it was said that anyone could fly it. But it was a very cutting edge and high, perform and high performance fighter that could change the tide of the war for Germany if it had more pilots, fuel, and airfields. It was a jet engine with a plane attached. It could fly at a top speed of 562 miles per hour and it was armed with two 20 millimeter MG 151 cannons. It was made in flight on December 6, 1944. It exceeded expectations, but the next day one crashed, killing a pilot. Having little time, Germany quickly made the first division, so there's not enough supplies, planes, and pilots. Some kills were made at the cost of several mechanical failures. It had a range of 605 miles per hour and had the first ejection seat. Now we're going to guess what will happen when the planes face off. As the Salamander and Comet will be flying high above Germany, we will rate the planes by their speed, turning ability, weapons, and reliability, and climbing rates. When it comes to speed, the 163 Comet would absolutely dominate, with a top speed of 622 miles per hour, absolutely decimating the Salamander's 522 miles per hour. The next thing that we'll be judging is the climb rates. It, we could not find the exact climb rates, but on all of our sources that we saw, it said that it was extremely bad. So, that's another one to the comets. But, this is where the comet takes a turn for the worse. Oh, and it wins the weapon system, because... The weapon system is pretty impressive. Sadly, the Comet would lose and the Salamander would win the rest. Also, extra point for Salamander having the first ever ejection seat. This is based on the point, not the pilot. So as the planes mean the air, you have to remember the Comet was unreliable and fragile. The Salamander probably get hit very few times before it shot the Comet down. I, we will say the salamander would win. And because of the problem that is the fact that the comet would go so fast you only got a few split seconds to fire. If the comet got lucky and shot down the salamander, pilot could survive. In all likelihood, the salamander would win this war. So, who do you think will win? Let us know in the comment section below. And subscribe for more war content and comparisons. Next episode, we compare the M16 to the AK-47. Next stop, Vietnam.